Question number 6. A circle has the equation x square minus 6x plus y square plus 8y plus k equals 0, where k is a positive constant. Given that the x-axis is a tangent to this circle, part a find the value of k. This question carries three marks. We have the equation of a circle here and it's given x-axis is tangent to the circle. The equation of x-axis is y equals 0. So when a curve and a line touches at one point, combine them and frame a quadratic equation and take the b square minus 4 is the discriminant equals 0. So when you combine them, replace y by 0 here. So you get x square minus 6x plus k is 0. Cross automatically these two terms will be 0. And take the b square minus 4 ac. Put it as equal to 0 because these two touch at single point. b square which is minus 6 whole square minus 4 a c is 0. So 4 k is 36 k is 9. That's it. That's how we find the value of k. The circle meets the coordinate axis at the point R, S and T. Part B. Find the exact area of the triangle R, S, T. This question carries 4 marks. Now this circle meets the coordinate axis X and Y axis at 3 points R, we don't know the coordinates, S and T. And we are going to find the area of this triangle joining these three points R S T. So first we need to find the coordinates of the points. When uh, the circle meets the x-axis, we replace y by 0. When you put y by 0, it's x square minus 6x plus 9 is 0. So you get x is equal to 3 because this is x minus 3 whole square. So the point may be taken as R, x is 3, y is u. Now when the line meets y axis, replace x by 0. So you get, when you put x is equal to 0, you get y square plus 8y plus 9 is 0. Solve this, you get two y values. y is minus 4 plus square root of 7, minus 4 minus square root of 7. So x is 0 minus 4 plus root of 7, 0 minus 4 minus root of 7. Now we are going to find the area of this triangle. So as I always say, when you have three points, in order to find the base and height, it's, it will be easy if you sketch a little diagram. x, y, 0. So the first point 3 comma 0, x is 3, y is 0, this is R 3 comma 0. And there are two points on the y axis. One is, this is negative, negative value, which is, let's say here, t of 0 comma minus 4 minus root 7. And this will be another negative number. So we need to know which one is bigger. So this value is approximately 6 point something. So I'm going to write this value here. T. This value minus 4 plus root 7 is approximately minus 1 point something. So maybe here. This will be your S. So we need to find the area of this triangle. This point is 0 comma minus 4 plus root 7. This is 0 comma minus 4 minus root 7. So if any one of these side of this triangle is parallel to x or y axis, take the side as the base. This side as t, we can take it as the base. This is base. Height is the perpendicular length distance from the third point to the base. So this distance is 3. So the area is half times base. How do we find the base? This length. You take the total length. Total length is this. 
minus 4 minus root 7. Take, take the total length, subtract this length. This length is minus 4 plus root 7. So I think minus 4 plus 4 will be cancelled. You will have minus 2 root 7. So the length can't be a negative number. Take it as 2 square root of 7 times height is 3. So the area is 3 square root of 7 square units. That's the area of the triangle.